Okay, this is a formation from the Damocles book, the Farah Firestorm Squadron. I have two squadrons in the video, which is my orange squadron, red squadron. Now, how this formation works is that they have two nifty tricks. First, they cannot deploy at the beginning of the game. It's the rules for the formation. They come in on turn two as a fast attack acid coming in hot. Now, what happens is that they can deploy from your deployment zone if you use the strategic asset of outflank they can come in from anywhere on the table to your advantage now what I like also about the formation is that it has the ability to leave the table meaning that in the following turn turn three or turn four or when you are down to one piranha not drones one piranha from either squadron you can turn around and exit the board during the movement phase. Their second nifty trick is called um, rearm and reload where anything that was deployed i.e. you drop all ten drones and then you exit the board with one piranha left or two piranhas left or however many left that exited the board during your movement phase on the following turn you get ten new drones all five piranhas back so if you left 20 piranhas on the table, there's 10 independent squads of two walking down the field shooting and busting caps. You'll have to find a way to paint and identify which piranha goes with which one. I'm going to use decal numbers for my gun drones so they know they went with craft 5, craft 3, craft 2, craft 1, whatever. Now, if you're wondering how many points this nastiness costs, Red Squadron is 200 base points no upgrades. If you use them in conjunction with other assets, vehicles, units, and marker lights, you can get them up to ballistic skill 5, ballistic skill 4. The drones will automatically benefit from being attached getting an upgraded ballistic skill. For 200 points, you're putting out 40 shots a turn. That's 4 shots from the burst cannons, not twin linked, and then 20 shots from the drones that are twin link and cause pinning. Granted, there are very few armies in the 40k universe that are not fearless or ignore pinning checks. But for the ones that don't, it's effective. Sliding down the line, this monstrosity is 275 points because all of them mount fusion blasters. Yes, you will lose 15 shots, but that's five times to get within nine inches say, hey, Melta. You can sneak this up on a Bane Blade, a Titan, a Knight, a Super Heavy, a Monstrous Creature, or anything Toughness 8, Armor 14. It'll work. 275 points. The only upgrade? Fusion Blasters. This is my last formation for today. Please like the video, post comments, subscribe to my page. Thank you. Good night.